A lot of people, we look at abuse and neglect, they look at the lack of community support, they examine mental health and physical disabilities, and those are major challenges for, for a healthy childhood. What they tend to underestimate is poverty as the biggest injury to childhood. It challenges the family's ability to provide an essential opportunity for a newborn and for a child they're rearing, which is an opportunity to trust. You know, my mom had, she was diagnosed with schizophrenia and, and some other stuff, and it's like, we were just like, wow, like we were just out there. I almost dropped out to seventh grade. As a matter of fact, I wasn't even going to school. People get killed over anything for real. I'm still like kind of traumatized all that for real because he had like a white t-shirt so uh, he was all bloody on the ground and all that for real. I'm thinking that my dad was still alive because nobody had told me that he died at five o'clock in the morning. Like we, we was just walking around the hospital talking about like memories that we had and plans and goals that we had in life. We want to build a community that transforms our kids' instinct to believe in something bigger than them, but taps into their belief that there's something bigger than what's happened to me. I am something more than what's happened to me. I am intrinsically valuable. I think that like um, all the stuff I had been through and experience, I truly think that like, like God like really got a plan for me, a better plan for me. Because all these 19 years, I'm stressing and being though all this probably like probably like in the next 19 years, it'll be the opposite way. Without NCCF, I'd probably be in the streets trying to provide for my son. Cause I know there's people going through what I'm going through. It might feel like I'm the only one, but it's multiple people out there. Like, just take it in, like there's somebody out there going through what you going through, so be a work in progress, do what I'm doing.